Hi guys, today I want to talk about an unusual uh, displacement time graph I was sent and trying to explain what's going on. Uh, so Ayube Curry sent me this. Um, so uh, I went through a displacement time graph for an exam paper and the answer was D. But then I found a piece of information which shows a totally different graph to the answer in the exam paper but describes the same thing, a ball being dropped. Why are the two graphs different? Can you please clarify this as it's bugging me? Okay, so this is the question. So a ball is dropped, bouncing only once, and then is caught. Which of the following is correct? Uh, is the correct displacement time graph for the ball? Well, the answer is D. Okay, that's the correct answer. Okay, but the information in the book uh, is this. So this is the displacement time graph for a ball that's being dropped from someone's hand and is allowed to bounce along the floor. So what we need to do is look at the two different graphs and kind of explain that they really are actually the same graph. Okay, so... Uh, in this graph, we are taking going up as being positive. So the higher the ball is, okay, the greater the value on the uh, y-axis. However, with this graph, okay, uh, the lower the ball goes, the greater the value on the uh, y-axis, okay? If I do this, if I spin it around, okay, you can actually see that the two graphs really are representing the same thing. Okay, I hope that's cleared that the uh, misunderstanding. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.